All right, here we have the CTC 3D printer. I just got this on eBay. Uh, it was on sale for $500, and currently it is printing a cooling head for itself to enable better PLA printing and ABS printing for thin objects. Um, I'm pretty darn impressed with this printer. The only thing that was off when it came to me was the Y-axis. Um, had a little bit of lag in it. So I just tightened up the motor and within, you know, an hour or two, I was up getting prints that were within 0.1 millimeters of dimensional accuracy. So pretty impressive. Here's some of the other objects I've printed. You can see quite a few of them. A little Dobie. And here are some of the uh, other upgrade parts, minus this. These are pillow block bearings, and they go and tighten up the Y axis a little bit. If you look across the printer, you'll be able to see that screw up top there, right there. It's unsupported throughout the middle, so it has a bit of movement in it. And basically these pillow blocks go in and support the printer. And uh, tighten up the Y accuracy a little bit more. So overall for $500, I think this printer was quite a steal. Uh, I absolutely love it. It's putting down great quality prints. It came basically fully calibrated. Very little tinkering was needed. Um, as I said, all I had to do was tighten up the Y axis a little bit, which was done by loosening up those four bolts and just sliding the motor down to make the uh, that belt right in there nice and tight. Very neat little printer. Absolutely love it. We have a uh, replicator at Penn State. I think it's a replicator 2 or 2X, something like that. And uh, from what I can tell, this is putting out prints just as good, if not better, than the actual MakerBot. Alrighty, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.